Well, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and this is 12,000 Bricks. And I'm doing something a little bit different this month because I'm all about trying new things. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to participate in VEDA, which essentially stands for Vlog Every Day in April. So I'm going to be doing my best, and I'm not making any promises, but I am going to do my best to bring you a short vlog every day in the month of April. So this is the first one. I'm still working out some kinks and that kind of thing. So please bear with me, but I hope that you enjoy this and I hope you participate with me. Um, I think it'll be fun. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you coming to my video. I appreciate you liking and I appreciate comments a lot. So if you're a returning subscriber or a new subscriber, do feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd really, really appreciate it. And of course, if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing because it really does help me out. It helps my channel grow. It gives me, you know, motivation to try new and different things. So if you're so inclined, would you please consider subscribing? Anywho, let's get started with vlog number one for VEDA. Well, it's April 1st, the first day of VEDA, and I decided to make some pancakes for breakfast. I had some mix that had been in the cupboard for a while, and I wanted to use it up, and my daughter really likes pancakes, so I thought, why not? Now, I am not a great pancake maker, which I'm sure you will notice in this video. I like to add brown sugar and cinnamon to my pancake mix just to make it a little bit more exciting. Is there anything in particular that you like to add to your pancake mix? Let me know down in the comments below if you have any good secrets. With pancakes, I generally don't use exact measurements. I just kind of eyeball it. I'm always trying to get the consistency not too thick, but not too thin to where it's just right, to where it'll spread out and cook evenly. So that's always been a little bit of a trick for me. So this looks like it's the right consistency, so I'm about to get ready to start cooking up some pancakes. Now, I did put way, way too much butter in the skillet. It turned out okay, um, but I did use like way too much. You should not even use half of what I used. I really should have at this point just taken out the butter. I don't know what I was thinking. I just kept going. I was just all in with the butter. So, you know, like I said, it turned out okay. It browned a little bit and the pancakes were a little dark, but it tasted all right, so it worked out. Thank you. 
I did do a test pancake just to make sure the batter was the right consistency and everything was good. I always flip it once I start seeing the bubbles coming up through the other side and everything seemed to be going good, but I just didn't have a very big skillet to make a lot of them at once, so I only did two. So once they were done, I just added some butter and some syrup, and I do like to add some fruit. So I had sliced up some nanners, and I put them on top, and it was really pretty good. I mean, the majority of them turned out good. Some of them were a little over-buttered, but it was good. So I got a notification that I had a package delivered from Amazon and when I went to get it off the front porch, I noticed that the neighbors had some furniture out near the curb and so I promptly went in to get my husband to go retrieve it for me because I'm all about the free furniture uh, and here it is. It was a desk so we put it in the fireplace room and it looks great. So I had ordered this little set of dispensers for the side of the sink. One is for dish soap and the other one is for hand soap and I was so excited to get it. I thought they were super cute and I thought it would really kind of jazz up the sink area and the kitchen. So I was really happy that they had arrived and I really liked them. They have interchangeable dispenser pump thingies. And it does come with a little um, cylinder so you can dispense your soaps into the containers. And it came with some labels too, so I just absolutely loved it. really nice but I wanted to switch out the pumps for the gold ones because I like them better but they had all kinds of different labels too that you could use which I thought was really cool because you might not want to use it for dish soap and hand soap so I thought that was pretty neat. So I decided that I wanted to move all of the boxes out of this closet and into the garage because I want to be able to put my vacuum cleaner in there because I've just been kind of moving it from room to room and I was really tired of it. So I'm going to make my hubby carry it out and I'm going to put the rest of the stuff like the wreaths and that up in this cupboard.
Well, I think this is going to work out so much better for me so I can have a place to store my vacuum cleaner. So yay! Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today for the first day of VEDA, and I guess I will be seeing you all tomorrow. Till the next one.